guys! So today I wanted to share my excitement with you over the big, huge, amazing, awesome, fantastic, more, more adjectives news that Hideo Kojima is opening up his own company. Uh, Kojima Productions is going to be its own entity. He is finally out of the grasp of Konami, so he can finally come into the public and talk about it. It is the new Kojima Productions. Sans the fox symbol, which we all loved so much, but with a brand new symbol that a lot of people are talking about. Um, it's super exciting time for people that are fans of Metal Gear. Just drinking the fucking tree water. So what after feels like a million years of not hearing from Kojima and Konami basically just shitting all over him. This whole Kojima Gate thing, Konami Gate, Kojima Gate thing has been going on for a long time now when they basically fired Kojima, I guess, but they let him uh, continue work on Metal Gear 5, which we all saw was not a complete game, so obviously they didn't give him enough time or allowed him to do it. They'd rather work on Pachinko Machines and things like that, but you know, that's Konami. Sony announced that they're going to be backing him on his first game. It's going to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive, so you know how excited I am about that, because we get to play it first. Um, and possibly only. I don't know. None of this Tomb Raider bullshit where I gotta wait. Sony execs super excited. There's like a million memes about how you find a person that looks at you the way a Sony exec looks at Hideo Kojima. Um, it was really crazy because he, he appeared for the first time in forever. Um, he was banned by Konami from attending the Video Game Awards to accept the award for Metal Gear Solid V, which won Best Action Game of, of the Year, which had to be accepted by Kiefer Sutherland. What was awesome was the hosts of the Video Game Awards made sure to blast Konami and let everybody know that Kojima would have loved to be there, but he wasn't able to because he was contractually banned from attending the Video Game Awards. So we hadn't seen him forever. So all of us were making up these jokes and memes and stuff saying like Konami literally has him locked away in Konami's basement and is not letting him out until his contract is over. And well, when he appeared on that Sony Kojima Productions video, he looks like he's been through hell, he has a beard, his eyes look sad and tired, but he's excited about the future, and that's what we're going to focus on today, is the amazing, bright future we have now that Hideo Kojima doesn't have to worry about corporate shit, he's on his own, and this time he has the power in his hands. Right now there's only four people working, obviously, for Kojima Productions, which is like his right-hand people, and Konami's actually trying to hire people to continue the Metal Gear franchise, so that sucks ass, but you know, it is what it is. His first game is going to be PlayStation 4 exclusive and it's going to be awesome. And I know I'm going to be playing it no matter what it is. It's a Hideo Kojima game. You can't go wrong with it. And he's just an amazing developer. So I'm really excited to see what's coming in the future with him and his game. Um, we're all hoping, hoping, hoping that he teams back up with Guillermo del Toro and Norman Reedus and starts that Silent Hills type game under a new name, under a new premise, of course, because Konami still owns the rights to Silent Hill, but we would love to see that horror game come out because I will shit my pants literally and then I'll have to delete that because I don't want you guys to see me shit my pants. Uh, a lot of people have made references to that Big Boss was working for Cypher under Fox, and Big Boss working alone was a MSF logo, and now that Kojima Productions had the Fox logo, he was working under Konami, and now that he is independent, he is working under his own logo, which definitely is resembles that of MSF, and Outer Heaven, and all of that stuff. There's hair floating in the air. But, um, yeah, so it's really exciting. Um, a lot of fun stuff going on. I wish we would find out what happened between him and Konami exactly, but we're not going to, because... He can't talk about it. I'm sure it's a confidentiality agreement or something, but it's too bad. But whatever, moving on from Konami. Kojima Productions for the future. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what they come up with, but I am really, really excited about it. And I know that it's a couple days old news, but I still want to share it with you guys and share my excitement with you guys. Um, and I feel like anything Kojima touches will turn to gold. So let's just see what happens and look forward to the next year. It's a very exciting end to 2015, so we can be really excited of what we're going to see from Sony and Hideo next year. So I will keep you guys updated with any new news, obviously, hopefully more on time. I got two weeks off for Christmas, so I'm going to be making more videos, so you can stay tuned to that. And I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you're as excited as me. See you guys next time. Bye.